Hi everybody, this is Lucy and this is Memory Keeper Journals. Thank you for visiting. Here I have my new folio and this one is inspired by Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Heather, I hope I did it justice because I thought <laughs> it was easy but it wasn't as easy as I thought. And so I had a few challenges but I was able to manage to do a few different things during the whole work. So here I used Louisa Heinzel's um, uh, digital and um, I don't remember the name. I'm sorry, Louisa. Um, I have my granddaughter today. I'm sure you can see her little hands um, babysitting, uh, helping my daughter with her. And we also have a doctor's appointment today, so it's going to be a, a busy day. So if you hear her or you see her moving everything around, it's because of her. <laughs> um, okay, so here it is. I did a closure with a ribbon. I'm going to call it Inspire because obviously um, Heather inspired me to do this folio, which is really, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That is um, uh, really useful, and I, I think it's it came out pretty good, com considering all the challenges that I went through. But uh, here it goes. Let me show you pretty quickly, and I'm gonna do try and do this with one hand. Here I did the uh, butterflies with vellum. Um, I actually did the oxide um, distress ink. I sprayed it with that one with the blue one that from Tim Holtz and it's called uh, Salvage Patina and I also used the other one that's called um, Antique Antique Linen so Louisa I was trying I was playing with these inks and I was kind of nervous that this wasn't going to come out especially because the vellum kind of warps and but it came out really cute I also did a collage with her with Louisa's um, uh, digital and I used um, Taylor Maids, um, also uh, uh, digitals. Some of them were ledgers. Um, uh, the letters, I believe, they are called. Um, uh, wow, the names escapes me, and I guess it's because I'm doing this video. Anyway, um, I'll link or I'll put it down on the video so you guys can see which digitals I use. I also use Heather's. Um, embossed handmade paper to decorate on the um, uh, collage. I use some seam binding in here and I also used a uh, lace and I had to use black on the, bless you honey, um, the thread. Uh, I guess just to give it a little bit of contrast but <laughs> I wasn't that great to be honest. <laughs> I was all over the place with that sewing machine because I'm still learning how to use it, but it did it some justice. Um, the, this is the back of it. I use again, I did a collage in the back with all of the digitals. And I think this one is also, let me see, I think this, this part right here, I believe is from um, my porch prints um, digitals also. And so she has a really nice coffee style um, digitals with a whole bunch of um, imprints on them. And I love it because it has mail postage and things like that. And I love that. Okay, so when you open the folio, the first thing you will see is um, two pockets here with vellum. I had to use vellum. I didn't have any um, protector, sheet protectors or anything like that. Um, I really would like to use acetate because I believe it's a lot stronger, but this will do. This is what I have right now. So there's two pockets here. Excuse my dogs. They hear anything. They start barking at everything. Anya. And here's a big pocket. And I love this digital because she uses, um, Louisa has color um, girls on the pictures and I barely see that anywhere on any of the digitals. So I, I loved it. I just thought it was amazing to use that digital. Um, this one, this is a, a tuck actually. And what it is, 
um, to put any papers or anything. I did a collage as well. I used one of her other pages and then I made a pocket with a lace. And here's a little butterfly again from the vellum. And then when you turn the page, um, I have a envelope. This one is one of those um, like business yellow envelopes but the small ones. And so I um, adjusted it to add this pocket. So we have two pockets. is the envelope and also the front where the vellum is. So there's two envelope, two pockets there. Sorry. And then there's a pocket right here, a hidden pocket right here. So I just tried to utilize it as much as I could. I realized late into the whole video that, that I was following from Heather in the tutorial that she had put two of these file folders together back to back so when you actually put a label or anything on this side of the page or you sew you won't see it on this side of the page when you do it on this side because you can cover it with the other um, file folder but I didn't do that I missed that spot that that step so I figured I had to improvise and so um um, so basically that's what I ended up doing, just coming up with an envelope or something. On this side, I did pretty much what she did on hers as well. She had a, um, like two regular pockets here with cardstock, so I sewed it together. Yeah, two of them. And I added the butterflies here with um, vellum. Yeah, do you like it? I know. So here you can put stuff in here there's another pocket right here um let's see what else when you turn it around oh, this is the same binding it's the little crinkly one and i will also post our or write down which where i got it on etsy i also did it here like if it was a tag but um i was trying to make it but it looks like a tag like a big tag but it's really an envelope so you got two pockets there then we turn it around and I decided to do an envelope because again, when I wanted to do something different on this side, I couldn't because then it would show all of the stitching on this side. But on this side, um, just the stitching here, I added an envelope that I created by hand and this one was inspired by Victoria Designs. Ever since I learned how to do an envelope from her uh, tutorials with the gusset, I love it so I kind of try to incorporate it anywhere in anything that I create and I actually sewn in two buttons uh, embroidery floss to um, close it yeah do you like it she has a lot to say about this so I'm sorry about that guys but I hope you like her voice because she's a cutie but cutie and here in this side we have three pockets so you can see I created a little um, um, tag with this embossed, embossed paper you have a pocket here so this one is little then we have another pocket here and a one over here so there's three they're separated by the stitching there's a big one here on this side I don't know if we're in frame can you see yeah and here's another stitch and here's another lovely lady again out of that um, digital with some collaging and then of course some of those cute little clear vellum butterflies that I um, use the die cut for from the 66 machine here's a little rose oh and I also covered part of the envelope with lace so it's just glued on it's not really going to come off this is not going to come off as well either but there's a secret pocket right here as well and that's another thing i forgot to mention and then okay baby we can't take that <laughs> she's taking everything out of the way and then that's it this is the back of it so um i did it i closed it with this because i didn't want to use the um a closure of an elastic because it just didn't seem right I tried it didn't like the way it looked so I just decided to go with a ribbon so anyway guys this is 
the folio. Sorry for the craziness and having my grandbaby here today. Um, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon. I'll make another video soon. Um, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.